Yo, 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 what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy Mazio here and we are back with another Clash of Clans video. And guys, on to this video, we're actually going to give you a guide for the sweepers, the way they are placed and how you can use some, you know, certain areas of the base to actually like have the best value you can get, for example, out of fly next to a sweeper or fly into a sweeper or fly around the sweeper distract the sweeper how all these stuff work and how you can use the super archers still very nicely in the meta so without further ado let's just jump into this video and i hope you like it and guys don't forget if you want to see the rest of these attacks that i'm going to show you make sure you join the telegram channel because i'll be uploading every day on my legends attack of course if i get the time but if i don't i'll upload two days in one day so it's gonna be fine man let's go and jump into this video all right we're on this space right here and this is the first tip i'm going to give you and it's gonna blow your mind hopefully because no one else talks about this kind of trick so just look at the sweeper first off when the base opens the sweeper is pointing outwards and there's this poison tower behind the town hall so what does that mean that means blimping the town hall it's impossible even if you have a freeze for the sweeper and the poison tower and you blimp the right there you're still not gonna get any value like too much of a value because you already lost one spell for example and you have less invisibility so what is like the most uh, obvious option to go for is to go for the opposite side of the town hall now that's when a lot of the times there might be tornado right in this small little area and this tip is for that how do you avoid catching the blim like your blim getting caught in the tornado that means you need to go from a decent angle on the side so i'm gonna go with one time if you go from a little bit to the left not a lot like here no and not here in between a bit still to the left that means when your blimp is going forward the sweeper will push it once and your blimp will be out of range of the sweeper and it will dodge this tornado even if the sweeper pushes you back this is the way you can still reach the middle of this you know whole base and demolish everything right through simple as that that's one tip for the sweeper let it push you once but you will still not catch a tornado this is for the sweepers that are pointing outwards a lot of the times some other bases maybe you still have to maybe freeze the sweeper or just go for for example a smaller value but this is like for this for example the bases that are like the box the sweepers are pointing outwards now we're gonna go to the next attack and i'm gonna give you the next tip all right we're on this space and this is the other tip this is one of the most beautiful tips i'm gonna give you and it's something that a lot of people are scared of flying into two sweepers first thing first i know the sweepers are a bit weird this one should also be like the other one pointing outwards and opposite side of the town hall but i still go and jump into this base on the middle and open my blimp how is that possible even if there is a tornado right in front of that multi or even in any side right here i'm gonna give you this if the sweepers are placed like this the chance of the tornado being on this side is very little because no one in this game blimp these two sweepers except me and some of my friends because they learned from me this is the only way you can get the most value but how do you even reach the middle how is this possible even if with this for example tornado i'm gonna give you a small tip on the tornado itself if the tornado is right here and you catch the tornado even like your blimp get caught in the tornado these sweepers will push your blimp back a bit to the outside of the tornado it's still in the tornado but though but the thing about that is when the sweeper pushes you those traps that are spinning around with you with the tornado will still hit you that's the thing the tornado will have no value because these sweepers pushed you out of it and then the traps hit you the most thing about the tornado is when it spins around it catches for example like it's in the warden ability or blimp and it spins you around but those traps will not hit your blimp unless of course the warden ability is over the tornado is over everything is over then that's when the traps will hit your blimp and the blimp will fall but if the sweeper pushes you you go backwards the traps will hit you 200 percent and that's when the traps 
there is no traps there anymore so you can easily go and land and you can see already these sweepers were looking a bit weird but even if they were pointing both in front i'm gonna give you another example in a, like the upcoming attack even if they are pointing in front you can still go and go from exactly the middle just a bit to the sides this is not like the last one which we went from side to side like really farther but not too deep this is a bit to the left just because both sweepers will push you at the same time what does that mean and how does that help you it's really quite simple actually i'm just gonna keep the attack going it's really quite simple because those two sweepers will push you at the same time and then the blimp will go back and by the time the blimp is reaching that's when you can land the blimp before the second push sometimes guys you need to have even accept those pushes as well like the second push which is of course the fourth one if you know what i mean so it's four pushes but two by two they come in the same time that's easy as that and the blimp will still go and land in the area that you wanted to trust me you need to trust me on this okay i've done so many archer blimps guys it's insane how many blimps i literally landed on the areas that i wanted and it was impossible areas for some people like they were like how did you even land the blimp there were two sweepers and the tornado and you still went and got the whole core of the base it's really simple but we're gonna go to the next attack and i'm gonna give you the next tip next tip is gonna be on this base now this base sometimes the box bases they have the sweepers closer to this side of the base and they're pointing inwards like sorry outwards to the town hall sometimes the sweepers are further you can see already a lot of the bases sweepers are here pointing this way right but this one has a very close sweepers so that means when they push you those like times together that's gonna be hurtful that is some way that you might not be able to make it to the middle of the base sometimes but you still land a good amount of like a tile and this is where it gets interesting look at the traps sweeper pushes the traps hit the blimp it doesn't spin anymore and that's when you can land the blimp of course i was a bit unlucky to land it on the other side of the wall but i have wall breakers and also look at a clone i'm gonna use they're gonna deploy archers deep inside this area i know the rocket balloon doesn't let you see it i don't think i'm gonna pull it actually maybe i will yeah i'm gonna pull the balloon and the lava hammer look at that archer i landed the blimp here but i cloned my archer inside so they can get this clan castle and these two multi tower infernos you can play with your clone and play with your invisibility if you missed up messed up the start and this was exactly what i meant by having the tornado and then two sweepers pointing towards that tornado the traps will hit the blimp but the blimp will not fall and make sure you pop the warden ability the latest the latest like literally the latest moment you can because that's when you are going to spin around and even after the tornado finishes you still going to be in the warden ability because warden ability is longer than the tornado itself now let's go to the next attack and i think i believe i have one more tip here for you but without further ado man let's go and guys i'm tripling every single one of these attacks by the way you just have to watch it in telegram channel i'm not going to show you all the attack okay so let's go to the next one all right we are on this base and this was the closest base guys i could find with the sweepers being like this two sweepers and the same kind of area pointing towards kind of each other but like a like a x so they are going for example like here and there this is what i want to show you if these sweepers were around this area okay so they are pointing this way and this way the way you want to clone and you know drop the blimp in the middle of the base i'm, I'm saying in the middle because on this base you have the poison tower here so even with these sweepers for example you can go and drop the blimp from this angle and go land and um, of course this is the tip that i gave before i don't i didn't want it to be a extra but guys if you go and drop the blimp around here and go the sweeper will push you but the the wind of the sweeper won't hit the blimp okay that's a small little tip i can give for you so make sure you use it because it's very helpful sometimes but i'm talking about the poison tower the poison tower being behind the town hall you can't really super archer there a lot of the times and look at the value you're gonna get what town hall one single tower inferno an expo or something but take a look at how much of the base is left you have two multis inferno and then you have the ego you have two expos two scatter monolith so many things that you're gonna miss this is why 
even if the sweepers were closer <clears throat> i'm gonna give you this the the way you have to blimp the archer if the sweepers are closer it's really simple you don't want to blimp somewhere that both sweepers push you because the way they're gonna push you is depending on of course which one which side you go if you go from this side i'm talking about if the sweepers are closer by the way one of these are gonna push you first your blimp will go up the other one will push you back your whole area will be completely messed up and if there's a tornado here you will get caught this is by the way again the sweepers being really close to this eagle and everything meaning the archers will not be able to reach the middle but that's exactly what you need to do right so this sweeper has an area of something like this but if you want to be a bit more um you know perspective you can see already if you see the legs between the legs of these sweepers there is a small area and that's when you can draw your lines to go outwards and a bit more even angled so a bit to the outwards like this this is the area the sweeper points look at how accurate that is to the one above it this is exactly how i learned it and it's, it's a bit annoying at the first but you will get it so you need to go from an angle to go and go here and by the time you reach inside the first sweeper like um, for example the first side of the sweeper this one is going to push you outside of the range of this sweeper so i hope you got what i meant so let me explain to you like this you're gonna go and for example blimp once the blimp gets here by that time look at how far this one pushes you this one is gonna push you outside of the other one's range and it's gonna go like this get pushed and come down a bit that's exactly what i want to give you the tip about this is the, that you are playing with the sweepers at this point these are not tips you are playing with the enemy sweepers to your advantage and how you can use it to go exactly where you want so if you want to drop on that expo let's say the sweepers are here or here these two places if you want to drop on that expo you need to drop this um for example the blimp from around this angle so you go but this sweeper is pointing this way but the other one will push you once and you will get outside of the range of the first one and your blimp will come back and land on the expo simple as that literally that's what i did here and of course of course the sweepers are quite far but this was the closest base i could explain this on for you like the way the sweepers are placed and the way this space is a box space if you remember one month ago everyone had the weakness of attacking a box space with for example super archers no one knew how to hit it because it was impossible because the way the sweepers were the tornado the way the spell towers were but these like the tips that i'm giving you it's really simple it's really simple to go and learn it and it's simple to attack with it and once you do you're gonna see exactly why some players are who they are literally the small details can change your whole attack the time you're gonna go and land the blimp inside the middle of a box base there is gonna be nothing left of that base that's why the box bases are really bad against a good player who knows how to play with super archers i've seen a lot of the bases lately like on uh, for example what do you call it the tournaments that the player don't really trap the super archers anymore and when they do it's like they want to point everything outwards like i just showed you two sweepers with the tornado with everything but there is still a way to land that blimp and that's what a lot of people don't know about so i hope this video really helps you with for example maybe your favorite strategy was super archers and because of how many box bases are out there this is why you left the strategy alone and you went to a new one but i'm hoping you go back to your strategy learn a way to you know hit these box bases very nicely with the super archer and if you want to know a very very hard hitting strategy that I just personally was using for the past two months and I've actually hit a rank with this army last season it's insane how good it is i'm rank 70 i was well rank 70 and i finished rank 70 last season with this certain army super warriors it's insane i have a guide at the end of this video and i'm gonna link it for you and if you want to learn more about it, if you want to see all these attacks that i'm doing daily you can easily join my telegram channel and the link of that will also be in the description down below so i hope you enjoyed this video learn something new about these whole sweeper ideas and how it exactly the sweeper can be a very good advantage to where you land your blimp but don't forget the sweeper can change your attack the, on these strategies for example the super archer strategies because the way they are placed they can tell you to go for the town hall 
or if for example there's a spell tower we find it behind a town hall like a poison tower okay now you're gonna go to the other side and try to sweep her there like to blimp there it's a it's a bit like it's it's just the way you have to play with it okay you will get there hopefully and you know i hope i see you soon in the next video because hopefully that one is going to be an interesting one i can't wait to show you what is coming and then um, yeah overall hope you like this so make sure you drop a like i'm gonna have some links on your screen for you right now so make sure you go watch them as well and i hope i see you soon in the next one so take care peace Thank you.